Hello, my sweet babies. How's everyone doing today? I guess I'm doing all right. Well, today we're going to be making a resin Easter basket. Oh, yes, we are, babies. Now, I got this mold. Um, I think from Timu or... I'll have to look. It'll be in the description where I got it from. It was either Timu or um, Amazon. I can't, can't remember which. I can't remember which. I think Amazon, though. Pretty sure. But anyway, here we go. We're going to make us an Easter basket. Oh, yes, we are, babies. Now, this can also be, it says, an ice bucket. What? Make your little ice bucket. If you're having a little party or something. Now, I'm just trying to get all this little fluff out. All right. And I hope y'all can see good. I'm using my phone today. Okay? And, um, uh, because there's a special video at the end, y'all not going to want to miss it. So, what I'm going to be using in here is... This garland that I got from the Dollar Tree. Look at that. And look, it's got little beads on it. Is that not pretty? Spring flame flower lay. Look at that. And if you look at it a certain way, it looks like butterflies. Look at that. It looks like a butterfly. So anyway, we're going to be poking it in around this and around this handle. Okay, and it comes with these little, these little things that you put your handle on with. All right, now this mold has got these little things in there, so it'll make a hole, so you can put these in it. Ain't that great? Now, we're going to be using less resin, epoxy resin today. I'm not going to put any color in it. I might put a little bit of sparkle. That's it. I'm not going to put any color because I don't want it to cover up my lay, you see. Okay? All right. Now, I'll be back. I'm going to get my resin mixed up because I want to put just a little bit in there before I put my flowers in. All right? I'll be back, babies. All right, babies. I'm going to move this out of the way, and we're going to do the handle first. Okay? And I'm going to be using Less Resin Mixology Magic Opal. I'm going to be adding some of that in there. Mm-hmm, and like I said, we're using less resin, epoxy, re not less resin, yeah, let me see, yeah, less resin, epoxy resin, one-to-one, -one. okay, so, we're going to be putting some of this beautiful stuff up, up in here, but I don't want too much, because I don't want it messing with my pretty flowers, but I don't think it will. Oh my God, look how pretty. Oh, look at that. See, it just goes right in, look. Yeah, I think that's good. Now, I only mixed up 12 ounces of resin, so I don't know if that's gonna be enough. I doubt it, because this uh, basket is pretty deep. So whatever I have left from this, from pouring in the lid, I will use to put in there and just let them here, I am going to be putting my heat mat on. So, there we go with that. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, I'm going to set that back there. And I'm going to get this over here like this. Make sure it ain't any fluffs in it. Okay, now, I'm going to take this. Now, this has the little things in it, too, you see, where it makes the hole for those things to go in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over it. Try. I'm going to try. Now this stretches just a little bit. Not very much. But I'm going to stretch it. And if I can just get a little bit of the wing or flower petal. It looks like butterflies to me. Maybe I'm just seeing butterflies. And then we want to get that down in there for sure. Now, I'm not even worried about it sticking up out of the mold. I don't even care about that because I can come along and cut it. Okay? 
Now, I hope this works, y'all. <laughs> I hope it works. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to have some bubbles. Oh, am I sure about it. Now, I just want to see. I want these beads down in there. These beads are so pretty. And then I'm going to poke this down in here. Like that, you see. Now, this is kind of like a mesh. So, I was going to pour resin first, but I do believe the resin is going to go through this uh, mesh stuff. I hope it does. Oh, God. But we'll see. We'll see. I might have should have poured some. Mm, 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 but I didn't, did I? All right, now I'm just going to let that hang out the tail end here. Try to get it in there. Make sure it's down in as far as it can go. Oh, I hope this works. Now I'll have to pour real slow because... Um, so it'll sink. That's too big. So it will sink down you know, through the flower petals or whatever those are. I do want this down in here. I want it in there. So, I guess it's in there. Try to poke it in a little bit more. There we go. There we go. And I'll make sure this is in there. Yep. Okay. All right, y'all wish me luck. Oh, and when it's cured, I'll just come along and cut this off. How about it? How about it? All right, let's try it. I'm going to get me a little cup so I can pour. Good. And we're going to put us a little bit of this in there. Just want to make sure I got it all good. I could have just used this and let it drip, but oh yeah, that's too easy. Let's just do it the hard way, okay? All right. Now, you don't want to put too much because you ain't going to be able to pour it, okay? So, here we go, little machines. Hope y'all can see because, like I say, I'm using my phone. And I don't know what's going on up there. Now, I'm just going to go across the water. Then I'm going to take my little stick and I'm going to poke it again. Oh, look at that thing. And make sure but it's getting down in that mold. Yeah, it would have been easier if I'd have just put the resin first, Wanda. Why didn't you do that, girl? All right, let me give it a little poke a poke. A little poke a poke. Hope it comes out good. I'll put a little bit right here. All right. I love the beads on it. Oh, them beads are so pretty. Oh, yeah. I think it's working, guys. I think it's working, but if I did it again, I would, um, Put resin down first, of course. Makes more sense, don't it? Just give it a poke. Make sure all your little flowers and beads are covered. Oh, yeah. There we go. And I say you can just give it a good old poke. And they'll just go right on down in there. Now, these ends is what I'm worried about. 
I mean, there's resin on that one for sure. I know it's about some bubbles in there. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to, that's all I'm going to do. I'm just trying to get them poked in good. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit more right here. Let's see if I can just get some of this cup. Let's get a little bit more. I don't know. I may have a good bit left for the... Uh... For the basket part. Just going to let it run down the petals. And that way it'll soak on in. You see what I mean? Let's get all up in there. And I'm going to move this and put a little bit off up in there. Poke it around. Now, when I cut these um, petals off, then I can see, you know, I can always put another coat is what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to get out of this mouth this morning. I'm going to let it sit there for a little bit and let the bubbles come up because there's going to be some bubbles, no doubt, in my mind. There's always bubbles when you put something that, like this in there. Look at that. I might get it all poked down in there, babies. Now, you can't torch because you'll burn your little petals. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just take my heat gun and lightly, very lightly, go over it. Very lightly. Just want to make sure, get that, see there. If you squish it, the bubbles will come up. I'm going to give it a good squish. All right, darlings. I'll be back when it's all good and set, and we'll see. Ooh, what kind of mess we got. I'm going to continue to poke it in as much as I can. You know, just to get it in there. Make sure it's mushed in. Look at that. Just I'm making one heck of a mess, ain't I? Don't matter. As long as it's pretty. It comes out pretty, we can just wipe the mess up with those handy dandy alcohol wipes. And those are like me. I love them. I love them. I'm so hooked on those things. All right. Now then, keep giving it a little push. I hope you can see the beads. I'm hoping for. All right, babies. I'll be back, little machines. Look at that. <laughs> All right. All right, babies. Now we're going to do the basket. So I'm just going to lay it around it. And then I'm just going to poke it. All doggone. I was going to put resin first. See how my brain works? Well, too late. Let's just go with it. Because this is pretty deep. So, now the other one, this is the end off of that one. I went ahead and cut it so I could use it in this one. What? So, this is just one lay making this basket. Now this is going to poke in really good. Get in there, bead. Get on in there. All right. Now then, here we go. Here we go. Get it poked in pretty good. I don't, want it, I don't mind it coming up the side. I just don't want it above the mold. These are gonna Okay. 
That should be good. Oh, I think it's going to be so pretty. Look. Oh, I think it's going to be pretty, babies. Oh, look at there. There's this a bead. Put that in there. That's just old plastic thing. Oh, look. Here's two more beads. Put them in there. When I cut it, some of the beads fell off. So, we'll just poke them right back in. Huh. All right. Now, let's use the red. I'm going to give this a little heat. Get the bubbles off the top. There we go. Now, I might as well give this a little heat. Don't give it too much heat, babies. You don't want to burn your flowers. If there's bubbles in there, you can always fix it with UV resin, okay? You can always fix your bubble holes. All right. Now, that's heated, and I'm going to let, let it sit there and let the bubbles come up. All right, let's give this a mix around because my my beautiful glitter look has done sunk to the bottom. <laughs> Most of it. So let's give it a little stir around. And come on, baby, come on. All right, here we go. I'm going to go around the edges first, I think. Go around these edges first. I'm just going to use this big cup. After you go around the edges, just take something and poke it. And your bubbles will come up. Then you give it some heat. But you want to let your first little run sink. Give it a few minutes to sink. That's why I'm using less resin, epoxy resin, because it has a longer working time and... It's not that many bubbles, but it's going to be bubbles with this, I promise. You know what? This might be enough. 12 ounces looks like it's I'm just going to do it like this. Might be enough to do the whole basket. <gasps> Look at that. I think it's going to be enough, y'all. Now, just give it a little squish, squish. down in the bottom all the way to the bottom and then we're just gonna put the rest of it on ain't that something now this was easier because it's bigger all right let's just pour it on there here we go because I think 12 ounces is plenty because your lay took up most of your um, space see what I mean Oh, yes, ma'am. We are going to have enough. More than enough, I do believe. Look at that. I'll give it another little tap. Look at the bubbles coming up. Now, I'm not turning my heat mat on yet because I want those bubbles to pop up. Look at that big monster. Just go around it and tap, 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 tap. And once you see the bubbles have stopped coming up, then you can take your heat gun, give it a little bit of heat. Look at that big old bubble. Give it a little bit of heat. I only got a little bit more left in here, so here we go. 12 ounces, babies, if y'all get this mold. And I'm, when I come back, I'm going to let y'all know where I got the mold because I can't remember if it was Timu or... Um, um, Amazon. But another thing I wanted to tell y'all is I have a Timu link down below. So if y'all order from Timu, if you go through my link, I would appreciate it so very much. So very, very much. Look at that, guys. Less resin. Resin is a Good bubble release and resin. It really is. Then bubbles will just pop, pop. Look at that. See them just coming up? 
Mm -hmm. It's a good resin, popping bubble resin. Okay. There we go, love machines. I'm going to put it on the um, heat mat after I give it some heat. I just want to make sure I get it all out of there. Okay. There we are, baby dolls. Give it a look at that. Give it another little tap a tap. A little squish around. Give it a little squish around. And then if your flowers come up, just take them, poke them back in. Mm -hmm. Poke them back in, babies. All right, darlings, I'm going to poke around on this a little bit, and then I'll be back, okay? All right, babies, Miss Stacy cleaned out her craft room. She sent me five blessing boxes. These are cookie cutters. There's some back there. I'm just, I laid it all out on the table. Here's some wood chips. We'll probably make coasters out of those or something. Cinnamon sticks, flags. Now, she said, there's some rocks. She said, whatever I don't need or whatever I already have, then I can put it in the blessing box. And that's what I'm going to do. I can't wait to use these. She sent me three different uh, sizes of these. And look at those. Oh. Now, this is cut up vinyl. Ain't that something? But that in resin, too. Look at all that. And I think I'm going to make me a mold out of these. Mm-hmm. And then there's mica powder. There's also stir sticks in there. There's a tray mold. That's a domino um, holder. Then we have foil and we have um, cookie bags. We have the, um, oh, what do you call them? Frosting bags, <laughs> piping bags. Then we have um, foam balls, different sizes. These are pretty, aren't those pretty? I gotta figure out something to do with them. Those are gorgeous. Then we have stickers, all kinds of stickers back here. All under there. This is acrylic sheets and plastic bags that I can use to make bowls. This right here is it goes around a box mold or a mold that has flimsy sides that holds the sides up. That will be going in a blessing box because I already have one. Ribbon. Then we have artificial flowers. These are dried, not artificial. These are dried flowers of all kinds in there. Silicone rubber that you can put in your rubber so you won't use so much silicone to make, make you something. This is lavender and corn flower flowers. Fox snow, some little um, wood chips, silicone cups. Here goes a beautiful little thing there I can use to make on a reef, which are down there on the other end. And then we have um, drawer pull, you know, the pull, put on the drawer, moles. That will be in the blessing box. I have some. Not sure if I have them all, but I, I have some. We have star sticks out the Fruity for Rudy. We have material, rock molds. Those make rocks. Y'all hear me? We have this clock, and I forgot what kind of clock it's called, but we have that. 
We have a jar mold, heart mold. We have an octagon mold. We have, she made this mold. We have Boo for Halloween. We have Doctor Who mold. We have, now I'm gonna make soap in these, or candles, one of them. Soap or candles, not sure yet. But we have those, we have these little wood things. <gasps> Honey babies, look at all these blessings. Would you look at them? Good God, we have a vase. I'm just hoping I'm gonna go back down to the end, make sure I didn't miss nothing. And um, I haven't went through these yet, so I'm sure some of those will be in the blessing box. I'm excited about this. And all these gems. <gasps> Look at all that. Look at all that, guys. Ooh. She not only blessed me, she blessed whoever I pick out of this monkey coconut. Ain't that right for the winds to give away? And we're going to be doing that today, too. See, here's the reefs. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to be scanning and do the blessing board while y'all looking. Blessings for March, Miss Carol Ann to Christ and Miss Stacy. Continue prayers for Miss Vicki Lynn Frank, Mr. Jean, Miss Lisa Provost, Mr. Dave, Miss Debbie Jo, Miss Lisa, God knows her needs. Miss Carol Ann Christ, God knows her niece also, and the dainty doer. She's having a disability here in this month, so let's pray that baby gets her disability, okay, darlings? That's it, babies. And there goes Miss Christine Watkins gave me that when my daddy passed. Ain't it beautiful, y'all? I just love that. That's my Uncle Billy. Oh, bless his little heart. I got to get my Aunt Sue and... Uh, three or four more up there, darlings. But that's just beautiful, ain't it? Thank you, Miss Christine. And then I also, I think I showed y'all, but I kept her little, I kept her note on the back. Just the sweetest ever, Miss Christine Watkins. Just such a sweet baby. All right, darlings, I'll be back. All right, babies, let's go ahead and do this drawing. I know it's Tuesday, but it's okay. Hey, we can do it day early, can't we? Don't matter. That'll just give whoever wins time enough to see me the address. Ain't that right? All right, let's get off in here and see who we gonna pull out of the monkey coconut, baby. I'm gonna roll them around. Look at that. Roll them around. And roll them around. I'm going to pick them up like that and drop it. Oh, I meant to keep one. Drop it. There we go. We got it. We got it. Let's see who we got. Let me move Mr. Monkey. Let's see who we got, babies. Y'all ready? Bam. Oh, Miss Debbie Jo. Miss Debbie Jo. I need your address, darling. I need your address. You won, baby. You won, Miss Debbie Jo. Congratulations, baby doll. All right, all I need is your address, honey. That's all I need, and I'll send you some pretty stuff. All right, now, let's, this is still kind of bendy, but I'm going to take it out anyway. Oh, God. I'm going to take it out anyway now. I don't know about this little do flicker thing here. Oh, God. I guess it just pops out the bottom. Oh, crap. I'm nervous. <laughs> Because I don't know. I think it just pops out the bottom. I'm finna see. Let me get around here to it. Now, it's a little bendy band. So, I don't want to mess it up. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. Let go. Come on, baby. Let go, honey. Thank you. Now, I can just bend it back a little bit. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes, little machines. Here's the little handle to our basket. Now, let me try to get this end out without messing up. Messing up the end. I don't want to mess it up. Mm, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, here is the handle. Now, what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna let it sit here for about five minutes and air cure, if that makes sense. Let it air cure. See the little things? That's where you put these uh, metal, metal them flickers. I might go and put one in there. You know what? That might be a good idea, might it? Just slide one on in there. That way I'll know. Look at there. Oh my God. I'm getting excited. It's good. It's good. I didn't mess it up too bad. Look at that. Oh, ah. oh. Okay. Now, look at that beautiful. Look at the beautiful handle. Is it not pretty, y'all? Oh, I think it's so pretty. Ain't it just pretty? Now, I got to do a little, little cleaning up right there where my little flyers are sticking up. But that's all right. Okay, let's move that out the way and get Big Mama over here. I just don't want to let that just sit there for about five minutes. Because sometimes when you take it out of the mold, it'll go on ahead and cure. You see what I'm saying? It'll just get hard to rock. All right, now let's see what we got here. I'm nervous. I know. I stay nervous, don't I? I stay nervous, babies. Now, this is a little bit harder than that. Mm -hmm. Now, I got to get this here thing out of there. Oh, my God. Okay. Now, I'm just going to pull this up like that. Mm -hmm. Then, I'm going to come over here on this side where this little hooker is. That. And then we can pull the bowl out. The basket. Not bowl. I don't know why I keep wanting to say bowl, but it could be. Oh my God. <gasps> Y'all look, it worked. It worked, guys. <laughs> it worked, babies. We have us a basket. Now I'm going to let that sit there for five minutes, too. Five or ten. And then I'll be back. And we'll put it together, look. It goes like this, you see. Look at that. It goes just like that, and you stick your little thingy dings in there, or does it go in like that? I'm going to have to see. But anyway, it goes in, don't it? And look at our little basket babies. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just super excited. I think that is so freaking cute. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. Y'all know what? You can make your children an Easter basket. Put them some little fake grass in there. And let them hunt their little eggs. That is a lay, y'all. Look at the beads. You can see the beads. There's some. Oh, my good God. I cannot believe it worked. <laughs> I was nervous as an alligator. But it is so pretty. Look at that glitter. Mm, that glitter's gorgeous. All right, darling. So I'm going to let it sit here and finish doing what it's doing. And it shouldn't take long since it's out in the elements. Okay. And I'll be back as soon as it's hard. All right, babies. Look at it. Ain't it pretty? Oh, my God. All right, babies. It's still a little bendy. But I'm going to go ahead and put it together so y'all can see what it looks like. And then I'll just take it apart and let it, um, let it, uh, cure, finish curing. So, take this little thing here, stick it in this hole, okay? You stick it through the handle, all right? Then you stick it through the bowl, okay? Now then, you take this little screw and you screw it into... This little, the other little piece you put in there. Let me see if I can get it started. There we go. Now I'm going to take my little bit of screwdriver. That way, be quicker. Be quicker, babies. I can already imagine how I want, I would want this, uh, decorate it. Okay, stick it through your handle, then stick it through your bowl. Okay, see? See that? Now, let's get our little screw card on. See? That little screw. And you put it right here. Oh, God. Come on, baby. 
and we have a little Easter basket with Easter collars. Ain't it just the cutest thing you ever seen? If my grandbaby's still um, hunted it, look at that. Oh my God, it even, I didn't know. I thought it was just gonna stand up straight. Look at that. That's what I thought. I don't have this one tight enough. So let me get it tight. Mm -hmm. And show y'all bow. Oh my God, look. Look at it. Oh my God. It's not all the way cured, babies. It's just popping out. <laughs> it's popping out. Coming and going. If it was already cured, it wouldn't do that. See, this right here would be closed more. But I'm stretching it. I'm stretching the hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> just don't pay it no attention. Okay? Don't pay it no attention. Now, look at it. Is that not pretty? Now, make sure you let it cure all the way. <laughs> Before you put your handle on there. All right. But anyway, that's that, my little machines. I'm going to have to take a picture of it. So, I'm just going to make it go on right back in there. Just get your booty right on back in there. See, it goes down in there. Oh, it could go on the inside, actually. But it looks weird on the inside, don't it? All right. Push it down in. I'm going to close that up right there. Then I'm going to hang this back on here. I can't. I don't think I have that one tight enough, actually. But anyway, you have a working handle once it cures, you see. Look at that. Ain't it the cutest thing? Ain't it cute? I think it's cute. So there's our Easter basket, babies. Let me know what you think down below. You know what? Put a little fake grass in here, and they can take their little basket and go hunt Easter eggs. Make sure it's cured first, okay? <laughs> and we don't drop all the eggs, baby. <laughs> but let me know what y'all think. I think it's so pretty. All right, darlings. Let's get the prayer card. And I'll let y'all go, babies, okay? Let's get, oh, wow. All right, then. Okay, here we go. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, you sleep. Your sleep will be sweet. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24. I think we've had this one. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Amen. Got that right. Put that over there in that pile because we done had it. Be still and know that I am God. Amen. God blesses those whose heart hearts are pure, for they will see God. Mm-hmm. Amen, babies. Amen, darlings. All right. Let me know what y'all think about my bow. And uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. I'm going to take this off and let it cure. <laughs> but anyway, y'all have a, a blessed rest of your day. It is uh, 447 here. And y'all have a good night and sleep sweet. Okay, babies. Y'all excuse my shirt. I've been cleaning. and Then I ate a corn dog and got some mustard on it. Psh. Oh, well. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, babies. Bye.